This was actually a registry-based study where we looked at uh, patients with well-defended thyroid cancers. We are mostly looking at papillary and follicular thyroid cancers. And they were treated with surgery and then some people also got after surgery radioactive iodine as part of the treatment. And uh, the purpose of the whole study was to find out if we expose patients to radio iodine, which is again uh, in, a, in a sense a circulating ionizing radiation emitter, then does it cause uh, some long term or short term effects on the bone marrow? And we were particularly looking at the risk of them developing myelodysplastic syndromes or MDS. <laughs> We see that the uh, risk of myelodysplastic syndrome goes peaks in the first two years uh, from the time of the treatment and then the risk settles down to the general population rates and we see a secondary peak happening at 12 years or after from the time they were treated. So what we are seeing is a bimodal peak distribution of risk. There's an early that happens within the first two years and there is a trend towards increased risk of MDS after 12 years. Uh, we are not exactly sure what the reasons are for those.